2024 Toyota Alford Revealed, Legendary Toyota People Mover debuts with hybrid and turbo power, but will it ever come to Australia? Toyota has globally revealed its next-generation luxury people mover, the Alford, and its sporty companion model, the Velfire. Both people movers are incredibly popular globally and rank as one of Australia's most frequently grey-imported vehicles. Unlike the Toyota Australia-backed Granvia which is only available with a 2.8-liter turbo diesel engine sourced from the high ace commercial van, the new generation Alford is available with the choice of a 2.5-liter petrol engine, 134 kilowatts per 235 newton meters, or a 2.5-liter petrol hybrid, 184 kilowatts combined. Meanwhile, the sporty Velfire is able to be equipped with either the hybrid system or Toyota's new 2.4-liter turbocharged engine, 205 kilowatts per 430 newton meters, which replaces the previous 3.5-liter V6 engine option. All versions are CVT-driven apart from the 2.4-liter turbo Velfire which uses an 8-speed torque converter, while all-wheel drive is also available across the range in its home market of Japan. The new Alford and Velfire pair move onto Toyota's TNGAK chassis shared by the current Camry, Kluger and Lexus RX, promising improvements to handling and refinement. The new people movers also include extensive dampening to increase cabin ambience, and the suspension includes frequency-responsive dampers to increase ride quality. The styling, meanwhile, does not stray far from the formula long established by the People Mover pair, with a huge chrome embossed face for the Elford and a more GR-inspired blocky satin look for the Velfire. The interior inherits many components reserved for the Lexus mark in export markets, like the huge multimedia panel, digital instrument cluster, and digital shifter in high-grade examples. While Toyota Australia has reiterated its commitment to the Granvia in the past, the confirmation of the Lexus version of the Alford, the Lexus LM, for our market, could give the brand the economy of scale it needs to finally factory back the popular Alford and Velfire range. Toyota is always considering exciting new models as they become available for our market, but we have no announcements to make today. The Alford is priced from the equivalent of $55,792 Australian dollars to $90,094 in Japan, while the Velfire is priced between $67,674 and $92,172. The Alford is priced from the equivalent of $55,792 Australian dollars to $90,094 in Japan, while the Velfire is priced between $67,674 and $92,172. Yeah. So Meanwhile the comparatively unpopular Granvia is priced from $67,250 to $77,950 before on-roads. Lexus Australia has recently said it is inundated with interest in the incoming LM, but has yet to reveal pricing for its ultra-luxury people mover. As it is grey importers are forking out between $75,000 and $130,000 for late model grey imported Alfreds and Velfires, so both brands certainly have latitude in the pricing department. The Toyota Alford has always been ugly. But this all-new generation is pushing the envelope of how hideous a car design can be. This is basically indescribable. Just when you think Toyota cannot do worse, they do. But again, the Alford has always looked grotesque. Inside, it's also quite a mess. Which is expected after seeing the exterior. And of course, the seats seem pretty luxurious, like all those high-end minivans offered in China. I think GM does a much better job at this with the new Buick GL8 and Century minivans. Yes, they are over the top, but much more pleasant to look at than this. I'll fucking take smoke, I'ma poke a hole through you, choking's overdue. Come at me and you won't.